Hey everyone, Adam here and I am back with another Aurora reaction and this time I'm taking it right back to the start of Aurora's music journey and I'm going to react to her song, Puppet. I believe this was maybe the first song she ever released or wrote? Hmm, interesting, I think that's what I heard, I'd have to double check with that, but it's one of her most earlier songs at any rate, so yeah, I am really intrigued to hear this one. A few people have requested this, a lot of people have said it's their favourite as well. Um, and to go from, you know, that early sound of Aurora to the way that I know her now, I'll be really interested to hear the difference in terms of artistry, and, you know, where she started as opposed to where she is now. Um, so yeah, I'm really intrigued to hear this. I don't think there's an official music video for it. So I went for this music video, which has the lyrics that comes up as well. So at least I can kind of read along with that. So yes, here we go. This is Aurora and Puppet. Dancing puppet dawn made of wood. I bet he run away one day if he could choose to leave or stay. He's got a string attached to every bone. She has got him round her little finger, so she'll never feel alone. Oh, sometimes I wonder, did it go? But not to man, of course, his soul Dreaming about Wonderland Wakes up and he's a man Sometimes I wonder, did it go? But not to man, of course, his soul Dreaming about Wonderland Wakes up and he's a man Oh, taking control over another mm. man's mind Oh, taking control over another man Mind or taking control over another man's mind or taking control over his mind. The idea of leaving her has struck his mind. When he sees a smile, he's hypnotized and he can't leave her behind. Looking to his left, there's the door. No need to try, he tried it once before And their bombs hiding beneath the floor Sometimes I wonder, did it go? But not a man, of course, his soul Dreaming about Wonderland Wakes up and he's a man Sometimes I wonder, did it go? But not a man, of course, his soul Dreaming about Wonderland Wakes up and he's a man She wants, she gets, or she will cry. Hits the man with her umbrella, she'll continue till he dies. Sometimes I wonder, did it go? But not the man, of course, his soul. Dreaming about Wonderland, wakes up and he's a man. Oh, taking control over another man's mind. Taking control over his mind.
classic Aurora there. promotion for that channel <laughs> all right wow i god i really enjoyed that song i think that's now entered my top 10 i really really like that song um it's got a really cool vibe to it i like the kind of you know the beat that goes throughout it as well um but yeah wow what an interesting song i really enjoyed that um and i, I correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think this appears on any of her albums um, but God, I wish it did. I'd love to download that. I'm going to have to listen to that again. Um, but wow, what a, what a tune. But yeah, let, let's start at the beginning. So the, the song itself, so by the lyrics, so it's talking about there's a relationship between a man and a woman. And in this relationship, this woman has this man wrapped around her finger. So basically what she says, you know, goes, she is essentially controlling him like a puppet. Um, and he knows that. You know, he knows that he's had, he's had opportunities to leave in the, you know, in the past. He's seen the door. He knows that he can go for it, but he doesn't because he's besotted with her. And he knows that, but yet he stays with her because he's so in love with her, even though he realizes that she is literally using him like a puppet. You know, there's lyrics in there saying that she wants a, a dress for over, what was it, a hundred thousand pounds, a wedding dress. And I mean, that's extortionate, you know, by any, any account, but yet he's staying with her. And yet there's other lyrics in there talking about, she takes other men's minds as well. So she's obviously manipulating other men around her. You know, she is like the ultimate puppet master and she's controlling all these different people. She's pulling different strings for different men and controlling them for whatever she wants them to do. Which, you know, it's, I mean, how awful to be put in that situation where, you know, you've been controlled like that by somebody. But yeah, this guy obviously knows that, but he's so in love with her or so besotted with her that he does nothing about that. It's quite sad really to hear that. Um, but yeah, again, this is, for such, again, a young age and a very early song, what a lovely introduction to that kind of storyteller that we know that Aurora is. And she does so damn well in her music. And to just to, to take a, a little story like this and think, right, I'm going to, you know, put this story into my one of my first original songs. Great. It just sets the goalpost exactly for the type of musical writing that she wants to do. That beautiful storytelling that we all know she can do really, really well. This was lovely. Um, I think some of the lyrics in this video are wrong as well, because when I heard Aurora sing some, the lyrics didn't match up. But I don't know. But anyway, um, Aurora's voice in this is so... You can tell it's a lot younger. Um, but God, I love her accent. You know, when she sings, I just... I always love it. I always I pick it out. And cert, the way she pronounces certain vowels, I just love it. And it was very particular in here as well, the way she sings the word cursed. I just love that. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, her vocal, again, is just exceptional. It always is. Um, nothing you know, too grand in terms of showing off vocally what she can do, no, like kind of going for really high notes or blasting a vocal or anything like that. Very consistent with that cool vibe of the song, though. Um, really fitting in with, you know, again, the vibe of the song. It, it was just great. That little, you know, vocalizing section towards the end there, that lovely kind of chorus piece when she vocalizes with herself, uh, sorry, harmonizes with herself to create a vocalizing section, that's classic Aurora. And that is one of her trademarks for me that I absolutely adore. I love that. And I wasn't expecting that in this song. So I thought maybe she picked that up later on when a producer got with her. But no, that is classic Aurora. And I loved that. It takes me back to the very first time I ever reacted to one of her songs, which was Queendom. And I heard it then. I thought, oh, wow, that is beautiful. And it's so nice to hear that, you know, that is her thing that she loves to do that with her music. And that was just stunning. I loved that section of the song. So yes, thank you everybody who requested this song. This was definitely, it's in my top 10. I really, really enjoyed this song. And I look forward to obviously trying to arrange a top 10 at some point, but songs just keep changing up and down. And um, I'm going to have to solidify, get it written down and create a top 10 at some point and maybe do a video as well. Who knows, something for the future, eh? But what do you think of Puppet? Do you really enjoy the song? Have you heard it before? Please leave me a comment down below with your thoughts as well and any other Aurora requests that you may have. As you know, I do have a list, but I am actually getting through the list quite well. And the list is actually growing a bit shorter now for Aurora requests. So please, if you do have any other song requests for, by Aurora, 
please leave them in the comments down below. As you know, I read every single comment. I reply to as many as I possibly can. And I always appreciate when you guys take the time to comment. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and please come and subscribe to the channel as well. I really appreciate everybody who takes the time to subscribe. It really does mean the world to me. And it's the fastest way that you can get brand new notifications for brand new videos. Um, again, a, th a huge thank you to everybody who has pushed my channel over 7,000 subscribers. You know, a mere week ago, I think it was at five, 4,000, then five, six, and seven has just, oof, just flown out of the park. And uh, a lot of that has come from the Dimash Dears, who I can't thank you enough. That has just been incredible. All of the Angelina Jordan fans as well who have come over and just pushed my channel into new numbers. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. All of my social media channels are just up here in the corner. This is my Twitter and my Instagram. Please come and give me a follow on those channels as well. And if you do want to come and join the conversation about Aurora, about Angelina Jordan, about Dimash, please come and join the Discord channel as well. The link is just down below there. So in there, we've got channels about all three artists and you can talk about, you know, those artists, you can talk about any other artists, you can make music, you know, requests to me, you can share music with each other in there. It's a great community. There are a lot of people in there. I think we're getting near to a hundred members now. And really, I really, really do appreciate everybody that takes the time to join the Discord and just have that conversation there. Really, it's fantastic. So thank you, everybody who's in there. And if you're not in there already, please jump on in and join the conversation. I'm guaranteed you'll probably have fun. <laughs> All right. So thank you very much. And until next time, take care.